We have a question from the IM board. Bisquit would like to know, do you have any advice for getting past writer's block? Yeah, get thee to your desk. <laughs> it, it is that simple. The, the, the smartest advice I ever heard from any writer in terms of writer's block is from Neil Simon, who may be America's most prolific playwright. I would bet he is. And they asked Neil Simon, what makes you different than any other, any other writer? And Neil Simon said, the difference between me and other writers, I think, is that I can sit at my desk for eight hours a day. It's that simple. You have writer's block. You say, I don't have writer's block. What I have is an inability to get to my desk. You go, you sit at your desk, you sit there, and you think about your world, and you think about your characters, and you think about the complexity that you're after, and you think about, most importantly, your conflict. If there's something wrong with the conflict within either the scene or the overall structure of the piece, you get into that. Eventually, answers will start coming, I promise you. You'll start to write if you sit at your desk and you consider the elements within your story. If you go out and you play basketball or go to the store <laughs> or have dinner with your wife, listen, there's always going to be a thousand legitimate reasons every day for you not to write. One of them could be writer's block. It's all baloney. A writer sits, immerses himself in the world, and at some point, something comes. And the, uh, yeah, thank you. Then the last thing I would say about writer's block is don't try to be good. The, quick, the quickest way to not write is because you think you need to write something well. Right. Write something badly and then rewrite it and make it a little better. Wonderful. Of course I can't say it better. He won an Oscar. <laughs> so, 